test flight phase, and their first delivery is planned for next year. And well, and that is all for tonight. Xin Yi, back to you. Well, thank you very much, Chen Xuan, for the update. Now, in an increasingly internationalized world, it seems like everyone is trying to learn everyone else's language. Internet communications have made it a lot easier, but the old problems still remain. What if you don't like the teacher? What if your schedule changes and you start missing sessions? What if you need to repeat a lesson to make sure you've got it right? Kevin Chan is from the U.S., and six years ago, he realized that people might like to learn languages the same way they do their shopping. Have a look in the store, see what you like, and then buy what suits you. He called the idea italki, and it's working. Let's see how on this week's light bulb. As many other language learners do, Tang Xiaolei likes studying online. Last year, the worldwide language learning market generated a hefty 58.2 billion U.S. dollars in revenue. A recent report called The Rise of the Linguati says that 87% of language learners in emerging economies prefer learning online. That report was done by the teaching company English First, which says 94% of its corporate language education revenues come from online courses. The online business that we work with is a top priority for the whole company worldwide. I think over the years we've invested more than 70 million US dollars into our online language training platform. Um, and it's usually, it's actually used as a base in many of our products, be it uh, when you study at the local EF school, you also have a part of your training being done online. You also have pure online teacher-led services being delivered to companies. So this is really at the core of what we do. Tang Xiaolei chooses not to go with a big teaching company, however, but prefers the flexibility and convenience of italki. Italki students can choose their own teachers from anywhere in the world, and then pick their own medium of instruction, just so it's electronic. Italki comes out part of my own experience learning a foreign language. Um, I remember learning French in high school, and I studied it for three years, and I came out not being able to speak a word of French. And I think that's a real shame. Uh, you know, it's a sign that uh, the way we're learning a language is just too inefficient, and it's just not, it's just not working. And I learned Chinese here in Shanghai, and um, as an, you know, being in China allows you to be immersed in the language. And when you're immersed, it just means that you're using the language in a real, you know, in a daily situation. You're using it for real communication. You're not studying grammar, you're actually using grammar. And so, uh, you know, when we thought about italki, we were just trying to think of how can we use technology to, um, to create that same virtual immersion. Um, and that's where the idea for italki was born. Italki is really an introduction site, allowing students to find teachers anywhere in the world who are registered on the site, which also tells the student about the teacher's backgrounds and their ratings from other students. In addition, italki offers a social network which allows students to interact with one another, ask advice and write short essays and get corrections from other students and teachers. I talk, I, uh, we like to think of ourselves as a, as a teaching marketplace. Um, we're not an online school. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a different concept. Online schools are, you know, they have a certain standard, they, um, they have a certain teaching method, they hire their teachers, um, you know, that's why they're able to, you know, sell this full service. Um, we think of ourselves as more as a place to help people connect. So the teachers that are, you see on italki are not working for italki, they're actually independent. And, um, and it's up to you. You can choose which teachers you want. You can find the teacher that's the best fit for you. Um, you, know, you can choose a teacher on your schedule, you know, the right price for you. Um, you know, maybe for you, you know, for some students, for example, they may, not, they may find a teacher from America to be too expensive. Um, so maybe they're happy or they're fine with a teacher from the Philippines. Or maybe you want a teacher who speaks your, you know, your native language. So you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. Italki has over one million registered users, over a thousand teachers, and tens of thousands of students. The company is cash flow positive, and revenues are growing by about 10% a month. Things weren't that good at the beginning, however. Starting a two-sided marketplace is very difficult. Um, 
you know, a lot of startups die in this process. In the beginning, it's very hard for students who don't have enough teachers, right? And then it's also very hard for teachers that don't have enough students. Um, you know, the students are afraid that the teachers don't have enough ratings. How do you trust these teachers? And the students and the teachers themselves are also, you know, they're not getting enough students, and so they don't necessarily want to stay. Um, the beginning was very, very hard. Um, the good news for us is that now we have tens of thousands of students. We have thousands of teachers. You know, it's it's all it's already been it's already happened. Um, this was the problem that we faced maybe three years ago, and and now you can see that we have teachers who have taught thousands of lessons. We have teachers, you know, who have, you know, like we we're saying, you know, hundreds of students, you know, lots and lots of ratings, you know, lots and lots of feedback. Um, it, it's already moving. ITOGAI 这个网站对于学生来说就像是在逛一个淘宝网站。那么这里的产品就是老师提供的课程以及老师自己的这个特色。你很可能以一个非常非常便宜的一个价格，淘到一个其实对你来说非常适合、非常好的老师，而他的开的价格是非常非常合理，远远比我们能够在嗯一些学校里面、语言学习学习机构里面，嗯得到的一个价格更好，服务更好。最低最低的可能只有五十元人民币一节课，那也有很呃也有一百元的，就是价格是有很大的选择范围空间，呃，这是取决于你自己的一个心理定位。iTalki now has users from over 150 countries. Most users are from North America, Western Europe, and East Asia. So far, iTalki has finished two rounds of fundraising and taken in over a million dollars worth of investment. How does the company itself make a profit? After a student registers, he or she then chooses a teacher from the site and prepares to pay by buying credits. Once lessons are scheduled and confirmed, I talk he pays the teacher and the teacher's testing fees. There are two types of teachers on iTalki. Professional teachers are teaching professionals with foreign language teaching credentials. They are expected to have prepared lesson plans and course materials. The charge for a professional is about 50 yuan per lesson. The second type of iTalker is community tutors who are native speakers or near native speakers. They are not professional instructors, but can help with informal tutoring or conversation. Their charges are flexible. Whatever the charges, iTalki takes a 15% commission from each of the deals. 价格方面的话 ，iTalki 的话它是比较灵活，就是呃怎么说，价格的话它应该有有好几个档次这样，啊、呃，那我觉得我可以根据不同的时间段，因为、呃、然后不同的学费的这个这个需求去选择。只不过就是 iTalki 的话，它的那个付款方式相对比较灵活，呃，你可以买四节课。每节，比方说它是 iTalki 的那个，它是比方说一百五十块钱一次课，那你可以买，呃，它可以给你选择，比方说你可以四次一买或者是六次一买，那这个是我比较能够接受的。Some students also make money by being a teacher at the same time. Miss Tang, for example, started using iTalki three years ago when she started teaching English at a junior high school in Shanghai's Baoshan district. At first, she used iTalki to practice her English and also to study some French on the site. She has now also registered herself as a teacher, however, and gives Chinese courses to over 20 students overseas. 八十 ITC 我定价是有教材的这个课程，而一百二十 TC 呢，我定价是作为一个嗯个性化课程，所有的内容全部根据学生的要求来设计。所以这里面含的是一个设计。我在上面投入的这个钱，我自己上课的钱，大概是在一千以内。而我现在从 iTalk i 上面，呃，得到的教学回报是将近是三千多。因为我不是天天都教学的，我是利用我自己的就是休息的时间。这是一个他们平台的一个很好的好处。因为相比一些其他的一些嗯机构，如果你要去做一个教学的老师，那你的时间是非常固定的。而我把这个。As with many online language training schools, the majority of Italki's customers are professionals, while others are high school or college students. What's the competition like, and how does Italki handle it? Um, I think that this idea is probably more popular in the West. Um, you know, but um, the sense is that no, you know, we're not going to chase you, right, um, to take another lesson. Uh, you know, in that respect, you have to be more self-disciplined, and you have to have a better sense of what you want to learn. Um, yeah, 
I think that you know our system is better for people who are you know generally speaking professionals, people who are um, a little more disciplined. Um, they have the money and they want to take control of their education. They aren't. Um, in comparison, let's say, not as interested in, let's say, test-taking scores, or they're not as interested in learning for external reasons. Um, these are people who are genuinely going to travel abroad, or they work in an international environment, and these are people who really want to become fluent in the foreign language, um, and not just get a score. From an investment perspective, the online education industry has been growing rapidly for several years. Many educational technology startups similar to Italki are getting funding, including foreign companies like MOOCs, Coursera, and Udemy, and video education companies like Linda. Italki faces fierce competition. I think that the company that is most similar to us is a Silicon Valley competitor called Verbling.com. Um, I think they're the most interesting company that it, you know, has sort of the same vision as us. Um, that being said, I would say that you know, there are companies that we are compared with in China. Um, some of the ones that we're compared with are uh, 90, um, 91 Weijiao um, and like 51 Talk. But I would say that we are very different from them. They are continue to be B2C models that are you know, more like an online school. And again, like I said, that we're much more like an online marketplace. Um, so, you know, in terms of a business model, we are very different, and I think our price point is very different. Uh, we are, we do, I would like to say we deliver much more value for the consumer than they do. As a public online platform, supervision is very important and difficult to manage. Italki does screen some courses and sometimes have staff pretended to be a student to test online teachers. If there's a problem, they make refunds, just like other online vendors do. The first thing is, is that we, we try to start off with is a trial lesson, right? We, we say the first thing is that you should sit down with your teacher and do maybe half an, a half hour session for a lower price to see if you fit. And then, um, and then yeah, genuinely speaking, uh, teachers are very interested in protecting their reputation as well. Um, if you're genuinely unhappy, right, then the teachers generally will also refund your money. Uh, but we find that actually our, our refund rate is very, very low, less than half a percent. And so usually that's for some other reason, usually more about someone forgetting to get to the lesson or you know, missing, missing the time. It's much less about people who are unhappy with the teacher. And there are Italki users who are looking for more. While Italki is growing comfortably, 5 to 10 percent a month, that's just the courtesy of users' feedback from word of mouth. This is not something the founders are happy about. Uh, yeah, I would say that marketing is probably one of our biggest challenges right now. Um, just to give you a sense, um, you know, 80% of our market is outside of China. So marketing, I think for us, uh, you know, we are a small startup and we don't have a huge budget. So, uh, you know, we're always thinking about how can we spread the idea of iTalkI? How can we get people to know that we're out here and that this is actually a real alternative or a real option for your language learning? This is probably um, the thing that we think about the most right now. We've been growing almost entirely through word of mouth and through um, just you know, search engine optimizations. And we've been able to achieve our 5 to 10 percent growth um, every month just purely from the, the feedback from our users. And um, you know, yeah. Companies like italki will probably never really threaten more established providers. But they do show the usefulness of the internet in filling the gaps between more formal and more fully funded companies. Feel like brushing up on your friends before the holidays? I'll give you a call. Well, you might have thought that everything that can be said